All right, so here's our next question. Uh, part A, fairly straightforward, if you know what to do. Uh, we're being asked to write 2.71828 to three decimal places. So let me just write that out a bit bigger. We've got 2.71828, and we are being asked to round it to three decimal places, which means I need this number to stop. One, two, three. That's kind of where I need my number to stop. So the answer is going to be a bit like 2.718. But that's not our final answer yet, because we have to decide what happens to this last digit, this 8. Uh, and to decide what happens to it, we look at the next number. Now, if this 2 was something big, like 9, 8, 7, or 6, or 5, the 8 gets pushed up to a 9. But because the 2 is only small, it does not get pushed up, which means our answer is just 2.718. Now, when I say get pushed up, strictly speaking, what I'm saying is this, this, this whole number is actually closer to 2.718 than it is to 2.719. So when we round it, we round it to the more accurate one of those two. And the way we tell which one's more accurate is by looking at the next number. But you can think of it as pushing up the eight to a nine if it was big enough, if that helps. Uh, part B is completely different. Um, it's asking us to substitute into a formula. So here is a formula that we've got here. Work out the value of P when T equals 10. So essentially, we're just gonna replace the T with a 10. But some important things to remember, when we have something like 3t squared, in algebra, which is what this is, it's letters and numbers, it's algebra, this means 3 times t squared. That's the first thing to bear in mind. It's a bit like if you have 2a, that's the same as having 2 times a, but in maths we don't bother putting the times in there, we just call it 2a. And the second thing we need to bear in mind is that because of bid mass, B-I-D-M-A-S, uh, brackets come before, uh, well, brackets come before indices, uh, and indices come before division, uh, multiplication, um, addition and subtraction, uh, add and subtract, yeah. Now, what we have got is we've got indices, we've got um, a squared, which is this one, and we also have multiplication, but you can see because indices comes first, we have to do it first. So. With that in mind, I think we're ready to actually answer the question. So, 3t squared. Well, the first thing we need to do is the t squared, so that's 10 squared. We're doing it first because indices go first, and indices means like squares, square roots, that kind of thing. Uh, and 10 squared is 10 times 10, which is 100. And that's actually the first thing that I can put in my working out box. We just did 10 times 10, equals 100. Uh, and then, now we've got what t squared is, we know that this t squared is actually 100, we can do 3 times 100. And again, we go back to the working out box because we've got to show all our working out. 3 times 100 equals 300. Oops. Uh, 300. Uh, and that's the answer, 300. So again, the, the important parts of that question were Knowing that the 3 means 3 times t squared, um, and also knowing that you have to do the squared first because of bid mass. Um, and then after that, it's just replacing the t with a 10 and then doing the squared and then timesing it by 3. Yep, and that's it for that particular question. Good stuff.